I guess you all know by now that one of the most popular television shows in existence is Medical Center. There's a fellow on there named Dr. Joe Gannon, and uh, he's played by a fellow who purports to be... Who what? <laughs> purports, huh? Purports That's pretty to be. good. You know why that is? Because you've got a lopsided omelet. <laughs> That's why. How's that? Well, well lopsided. because you're not in the middle. It's safer that way. Yeah. This is okay. Chad Everett. You are <laughs> Chad Everett, aren't you? I, I think so. Uh, Listen, yes, I am, and I'm glad of it. And you're continuing to be such a glowing success. Is it spoiling you? Yes, it is. It's spoiling me rotten. I, I just I have everything going for me and nothing to gain anymore. It's just <laughs> the, the whole, you know. That's it. What is there to, you know, of course it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> what do you think? I don't think it's spoiled you at all, no? Chad. No? Okay, no. fine. No. Written any more songs? <clears throat> no. <laughs> you promised, Faith, that you'd be a very good guest when you came Yes, on. I did, and I lied. <laughs> you know, you appear a lot on the talk shows. You sort of have fun with them. You like yeah, to I do. Them. I like people that have that talent. I think uh, uh, what you both do is a very special thing. Because, uh, you know, a person like myself who's uh, used to working with a script can come sit down with you and feel at ease. That, that's Some actors, talent. thank you very much. Some actors as good as they are, don't feel at ease without a script. They feel bound uh, by the written words, I think. Well, you know, I think we're all at ease in our living rooms, you know, and uh, I think the secret of a good host is to uh, make you feel comfortable and, and uh, match that situation, you know. Don't you think many actors feel they reveal too much of themselves when they do go on talk shows and they're hesitant about that? Well, that's the whole reason for going on a talk show. Remind people you're still a person, you know, not just a, uh, a character that you're portraying all the time. All right, Chad, what mischief have you got into in the last year since we last saw you? Well, let me see. What have you said you wish you hadn't? <laughs> uh, nothing, really. I've, I've really been a good boy. Yeah. What about granted <clears throat> interviews? I know I was looking through trying to get some research on some of the stars, and you are in the books quite often. Do you mind those, and do you read them after they come and interview you? What books? All the TV magazines, like Photoplay. Oh. Well, I don't do too many of them. <clears throat> I think a lot of them are... Um, are sort of invented mm. because I haven't had that many interviews, uh, really. They make them... Uh, not that I would uh, uh, shun doing anything with Nancy Anderson, who was photoplay, but um, I don't do many others, and the others are just uh, plagiarism. There was a, a publicity release on Medical Center that quoted s uh, your technical advisor on the show as saying that probably after six years on the show, you could assist in some surgical operations. Is that an exaggeration? Well, on a cadaver. <laughs> or he would be one, right? Yes. Yeah. What is the attraction the public has for medical type shows? Well, I can't speak for all the shows, but ours is, uh, uh, I think our show is uh, more of a sociological show rather than a medical show. We, we're spending less and less time in the OR and um, more, more time inside of people's heads. And, um, and I think that's the attraction, you know. Mm -hmm. We're also staying a, um, well, part of the newness of our show is, is, is that factor, that we stay abreast of the times and we try and tell stories. We've got a story coming up this year uh, that uh, Bob Reed did, which is just a magnificent performance on uh, transsexualism. And uh, here's a, a man who's got an 18-year-old son and has his sex changed, yeah, which is a pretty strong story. It's mm -hmm. a two-parter. We'll probably open with it. And very relevant. There have been some recent stories yes. in the uh, New York Times about mm -hmm. people who have gone through the operation. There are about 10,000 people in the world right now who qualify for the operation and want it. There's a great deal of research that has to go on, I know, beforehand, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, in-depth studies to make right. sure things are... Necessary. This was a year in the works. When you go to your own doctor for a checkup, you know, <clears throat> a cold or a sprained arm or something, does he, uh, does he look at you funny because you, you play the profession that he represents? Does, do you get much guffle from members of the medical profession? No, I think I'm probably more at ease with him than, than other patients are because, you know, uh, I really kind of appreciate what he's doing. But uh, <clears throat> the, the same parts of the uh, total physical exam that rankle most men rankle me. <laughs> <laughs> I would understand that. Yeah, right. you know that. <clears throat> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes that. <laughs> we can use that because we didn't say anything. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's yes. all. Yeah, we all understand that. I'm thinking about that. And getting a sympathetic pain yes. is a matter right. of fact. Right. <laughs> right. Well, right. that probably has to do with what you're sitting on. All right. <laughs> Which is a, a telephone book. book. <laughs> a telephone book. A tablet of a wastebasket, right. folks. Right. right. We're Are you still budget. writing poetry? Uh, yes. Yes. You enjoy that? Gives you a outlet um, to uh, express yourself in another way. Yeah, I think sometimes, you know, a moment happens that ought to be recorded in a way other than just uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, so poetry is a, is a, a way of doing that. So is music, you know. Would you do something for us? Oh, wow. Um, I'll try. It's, it's, it's a, uh, here's a short one uh, I wrote to my wife called Hang In There. And it's in the book I wrote to her. I'm telling you the truth. If hanging in was all the world expected me to do, I'd just take what they hung me with and hang it all in you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought behind that isn't yeah. there. <laughs> what was her reaction to that? She liked it. She was happy about that. I can't think of a better note on which to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> say goodbye to Louisville. Bye, Louisville. Chad Everett, Dr. Joe Gannon, the one and only of Medical Center, our nice guest on Omelette.